In this video, we'll use the gain and phase measurement skills we learned from the other video in Chapter 10 to experimentally determine the impedance of an electrical circuit. First, let's briefly review the concept of impedance. Impedance is only a meaningful quantity in the context of steady state sinusoidal analysis. Specifically, if we have an arbitrary electrical circuit with some sinusoidal voltage difference across its terminals, the impedance of the circuit is defined as the ratio of the voltage phasor to the current phasor. In polar coordinates, the impedance is defined by its magnitude and phase. The magnitude of the impedance is the magnitude of the voltage phasor divided by the magnitude of the current phasor. The phase of the impedance is the phase difference between the voltage phase and the current phase. This is essentially what we were doing when we were measuring the gain and phase between arbitrary signals in our first Chapter 10 video. If we consider the current to be our input and the voltage to be our output, the process of measuring impedance is the same as the process of determining the gain and phase difference between an input and an output. For example, if this is the voltage sinusoid and this is the corresponding current, the impedance magnitude is just the ratio of the magnitude of the voltage to the magnitude of the current sinusoid. Similarly, for these voltage and current waveforms, if the time delay between the two is delta t and the period of both waveforms is capital T, the impedance phase is simply the ratio of delta t to capital T multiplied by 360 degrees. As an example, let's measure the impedance of this circuit. We can easily measure a sinusoidal voltage applied across these terminals using our oscilloscope, but the current into the circuit requires a little more work. To measure the current, let's add a known resistor to the circuit and measure the voltage across that resistor and use Ohm's law to determine the current through the resistor. The resulting circuit will look like this. We'll use channel one of the arbitrary waveform generator to apply a voltage across the overall circuit. We'll use channel two to measure our voltage across our initial circuit and channel one of the oscilloscope to measure the voltage across this resistor. Our current through this terminal will be this voltage divided by this resistance. Here's our circuit. From this terminal over is the circuit that we want the impedance for. We're applying our voltage using channel one of the arbitrary waveform generator at this terminal of the 47 ohm resistor we're using to determine current. Channel one of the oscilloscope is measuring the voltage across this resistor from which we will infer current. Channel two is measuring the voltage difference across these two terminals. This is the voltage at the input to the circuit that we want the impedance of. We'll apply a two kilohertz sinusoidal signal to our circuit with an amplitude of 3.3 volts. For our measurements, I'll use a time base of 100 microseconds per division. I'll use 500 millivolts per division for channel 1 and 2 volts per division for channel 2. I've created a math channel which takes the channel 1 measurement divided by 47 to give me the current into the circuit. If I click on run, I now have my current as the red line and channel 2 as my blue line. I can calculate the maxima of those to get a gain. I can add a measurement that is the period of the signals. And I can use my cursors to measure a time difference between the peaks of the current and the voltage.